Well, for more perspective on jobs, I want to bring in a Bloomberg Best Forecaster who has already ratcheted up his estimates for job creation in December. Guy Labas is Chief Fixed Income Strategist at Jenny Montgomery Scott in Philadelphia. Guy, always good to have you on the program. Uh, before we get to the bump up in your forecast for tomorrow, though, uh, these jobless claims coming, uh, coming in pretty much in line with estimates. Uh, what does that tell you? Well, it tells us that the progress within reducing the jobless rate continues to proceed, although relatively slowly. Ideally, we'd really like to see initial claims come in kind of in the high, mid to high 300,000 range mm -hmm. before we can say that job growth is really proceeding at a good pace. But this is a huge, huge, huge improvement from right. earlier. Right. What it tells me, Guy, is that basically companies are slowing down their firing, but the question is how quickly are they going to start to hire, right? Right, and that's a great question. And of course, with December's numbers, we have the sort of influence of the retail season, yes. which looks to be pretty good. And so we do expect to see some ramp up in retail hiring for December that didn't actually occur in November. And that's one of the biggest things affecting our expectations for this December jobless number due out Friday. Right. And to, that's a good segue into what I'm going to say, which is your forecast. You bump them up quite a bit. Um, for the headline number, you're now at 225,000. Um, for private payrolls at 235,000. And I've been hearing, you know, for the last 18 months, we need numbers like 300, 400,000 uh, thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand jobs to get the jobless rate down. Are we getting close to that? Well, we're not getting all that close to that. We're sort of proceeding, as I said, along that path, but nowhere near the type of level needed to get the jobless rate down rapidly. That's kind of the key here. Yes. Our 2011 expectations have the unemployment rate only decreasing to the high 8% level, low 9% level by year end. And that's nowhere near the kind of fours and fives we experienced in the earlier part of the decade that really engender long-term stable economic growth. How far out is that, Guy? Realistically, at this point, we're probably talking 2016, 2017 in a relatively optimistic scenario. And that assumes no economic downturn between now and that time. Mm, okay, well, that's, that is going to be quite optimistic. Um, is it easy, though, for these December numbers that we're going to get tomorrow to dismiss them, though, with the retail hiring as just a fluke? Well, absolutely. And one of the things we've seen among retailers over the sort of post-recession period is that retailers have gotten more efficient about their hiring practices. They're more interested in hiring short-term workers that they can then release, lay off, once sales slow down once again. So we're a little bit skeptical that a jobs bump in December is really going to be sustained into January and thereafter. We also have one other major factor that's likely to hit early in the new year, and that's state and local government job cuts. By our count, state governments have already announced about 40,000 jobs they plan on cutting in the month of January alone as they mm. slice their budgets. It's going to be a big issue for 2011. We have been hearing, Guy, more and more warnings about that and to get prepared for job cuts there. Guy, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Nice to see you. Guy LeBas of Jenny Montgomery Scott.